Before you ride, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Warning, read, understand, and follow all of the instructions, warnings, and safety precautions in the owner's manual and on all product labels. Failure to follow these instructions, warnings, and safety precautions could result in serious injury or death. Visually inspect the vehicle, looking for debris, leaks, and worn components that may impair the vehicle's operation. Remove both front side panels by releasing the rubber strap and turning the two quarter turn latches on each side panel. Pull the panel out and remove from the vehicle. Starting on the left side of the sled, inspect the condition of the drive belt looking for any looseness, fraying, missing cogs, burns, abrasions, or damage. Next, inspect the injection oil level in the oil tank and add oil as necessary. Move over to the right side of the sled and inspect the brake pads and rotor for any corrosion, nicks, or burrs. Inspect the coolant level in the overflow bottle. Add coolant as needed. Caution! Escaping steam can cause burns. Never remove the pressure cap while the engine is warm or hot. Clean the area around the chain case fill plug and remove. Ensure the fluid is level with the bottom of the threads. Add fluid as needed. Reinstall the chain case fill plug and torque to specification. Reinstall both side panels by aligning the tabs at the top and bottom. Then secure the quarter turn latches and rubber straps. Move to the front suspension and inspect for fastener tightness on the shock assembly, control arms, tie rods, and spindle. Then inspect for leaks and damage. Inspect the skis for any damage or wear and replace if necessary. Lift up on the skis and inspect the skags for wear. Warning: Worn skags may adversely affect handling causing loss of control and serious injury or death. See your dealer's studding chart for recommended skags. Next, safely elevate the vehicle per the owner's manual guidelines to inspect the rear suspension. Inspect the front torque arm limiter strap for wear or damage and replace if necessary. Continue by inspecting the rail slides for wear. Replace if worn to the wear limit indicator groove. Measure the track tension per the owner's manual guidelines and adjust as necessary. Notice, tension adjustment should only be made after the track has been warmed up. Next, inspect the track for proper alignment by looking through the track windows in the rear. Ensure they are evenly spaced apart. Adjust as necessary. Continue by inspecting the rear idler wheel bolt and adjusting bolt lock nuts for tightness. Safely lower the vehicle to the ground after completing the rear suspension inspection. Next, ensure smooth operation of the steering system by turning the skis from full left to full right. Slowly pull the recoil rope out and inspect the handle and rope for any excessive wear. Ensure proper fluid level in the brake fluid reservoir. Tip, use a flashlight to illuminate the brake fluid reservoir. Operate the brake and throttle levers taking note of any binding or sticking. Ensure proper operation of the parking brake. Start the engine and ensure there are no warning lights present. Next, inspect the headlights, tail light, and brake light for proper operation. Push the engine stop switch to stop the engine and ensure it does not restart. Restart the engine and ensure the engine turns off when the ignition switch is turned off. Finish the inspection by ensuring there is enough fuel for your trip. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.